hello all welcome to tech capture myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see what is load balancer in GCP and how we can use a load balancer with managed instance group in GCP so we already seen how we can create a managed instance group in GCP and what are the different features of a managed instance group so in this video we'll start with what is a load balancer so as name suggests load balancer it's used to balance the load between the two system so I'll go to my next slides so just take example of this uh, slide here and just suppose you are using one of the web applications so it might be a Facebook your Google site or your Netflix any of these application you are using on the internet so this is considered as a web tier so there you could see one web tier in central one one web tier in central B and one is Asia East 1A so it's a part of the same application so what will happen if user in San Francisco will try to access this web application so support user from San Francisco try to access a Facebook so what will happen it will hit to the load balancer of the Facebook and Facebook or any of the application you are accessing it will check the location of the user and it will check okay which is the nearest server for this user so it will check okay this is us central one a server is the nearest to the user and it will send you response from the nearest server okay then if a user from loa will try to access the application it will check which is the nearest and it will see us central one b is the nearest server and it will return response from the nearest server and if user in singapore try to access then it will check okay us central a and central b are not a nearest so it has to check from the Asia region or Asia uh, zone so it will check for Asia East one and it will give response from the available server so it will always try to route to the nearest server so the speed will be maximum so suppose what will happen if uh, Asia is server is completely down so will Singapore user will not be able to access the uh, application no that will not happen if Asia server is down then user in Singapore will request this application through the browser it will go to the healthy instance available in another nearest so suppose Asia is down then it will check for US central 1b and it will return response from this server in this case only latency will increase and user will get a bit a less speed than the user was getting speed in Asia East one so the load balancer is to route the traffic to the nearest server and a healthy instance so that is how we can use a load balancer for our application so just let me go to this my VM and here I have created one application on my single compute engine so I just created one sample application if I use this in browser it will just print a dummy message I will just try to print okay so this is printing this is my web application now what happen if my server is down so if my server is down and or I want to perform any activity on my server and it might take a two hours so what will happen so I'll stop this server and then I'll try to reload this it is still working it is still working so it will keep working until my instance is not down when my instance is down this application will stop working okay so it is still working because instance is not stopped yet once it is stopped my application will stop working So how to avoid this downtime in case of any maintenance or in case of any upgrade for my application I don't want any downtime for my user so how I can avoid that downtime also so now it is loading and it might not give a response this time okay so to avoid this time town as we seen already in a video last video we can use a managed instance group in GCP so it will be identical application will be hosted on multiple compute instances and you can use that instance group as a single entity
but now as i am using the ip address of this application to access my application in browser if i will have multiple instance which ip address i will use so suppose i have 5 vm in my managed instance group which application or which ip my user should use to access the application i cannot say to users okay these are five ips and you should use all these five ips if one is not working you can try for another so i cannot go and say to this user or suppose um, my ip is used somewhere in configuration while deploying my application so i cannot put a multiple ips there i can put only a single ip to make a connection so in that case we can use a load balancer now you could see application is not working now so in that case we will use a load balancer okay so how load balancer will be used so just take this example what i will do i will put one server in zone a i will deploy application on that and i will put one on zone b and i will use one load balancer on that and load balancer will have one single ip i will may ask user or i'll configure that load balancer ip everywhere in my application so user can hit this load balancer ip if zone a is down it will serve traffic from zone b if zone b is down it will serve traffic from zone a and if it is having auto scaling enabled if zone a is down it will automatically create one more instance in the zone so this is having like in a region so we will have two instance into separate zone and this is like we are having two instance in the same zone so we can configure both the way so now i will create one mig zonal mig so this second diagram and i will try to use one load balancer and we'll try to see how load balancer work to access the application so for creating mig as we see we know uh, we need a instance template so i'll create one instance template Okay, I will just give the name as a web app one. I will keep everything as it is. I will just change few things. I will go in networking and I will select a network as application VPC. In management i want to put script for web application installation which was printing that message so i'll just use this two command to install apache server so it will install apache server on all the instances in the instance group so just assume this is our application we are using on managed instance group and now i'll create a vm create an instance template not a vm and now i'll go to instance group and using this instance template i'll try to create a okay i think we missed something so let me go back to the instance template so we missed a sub network okay or let me delete this also and i'll create new one create instance template i'll give the name as a web app one or just a web app template I'll use our application VPC and subnetwork will be subnet USC1 and in management section I'll put commands in automation tab so during the start of the VM it will install Apache and print this message on all the server this is my web application okay I'll just create it and now i'll 
go to instance group and we'll create one managed instance group create managed instance group so here I'll just give MIG web app instance template I will use let me reload because it's not created when we open this page EMIG is for managed instance group and I will use this web app template now so zone we want single zone as we want to follow this second diagram I will use a single zone and I want minimum instances 2 maximum instances 3 auto scaling I keep everything as it is health check I will select which we created in last video and I will create this managed instance group so I will pause this video for a moment because it might take a couple of minutes to create this uh, MIG so meanwhile I will pause this video ok so MIG is created now so let me go to this managed instance group okay and here you could see both are using the template so let me see using the external IP if they are printing the message okay this is printing this is my web application and let me check this also this is also printing the message so both are installed with the web application now how I can use a load balancer so let me create one more tab and here I will go to load balancer create load balancer I will use HTTP load balancer so here from internet to my VM so I will choose the default option so the front end name I will give as a web app so front end IP and port so name I will just give web app MIG so port 80 as we are using HTTP protocol only so once it is done I will go to backend configuration so backend will choose managed instance group create a backend service name I will just give EMIG backend so here already it is HTTP protocol instance group so which group it should be MIG web port number it should be 80 I'm just balancing what I am choosing a rate so if I put utilization it will check for like maximum utilization and if the traffic is going beyond utilization it will try to uh, route to the another server so it just try to keep balance of the utilization instead I will try to keep on a rate so it will check like only two request per second on per instance I will click on done so I will just disable this CDN this is not required for now health check will select a health check so this was on port 22 
so still I'll use this cell check and I'll create and now let me create a load balancer So I'll pause video for a few minutes as it will take a couple of minutes to create a load balancer. Okay, so load balancer is created now. We'll go to load balancer and we'll check the IP address of load balancer. We'll try to hit in the URL. So make sure you are checking it after five minutes because load balancer will take time to propagate the changes. So I'll try to put this IP now and this is giving the response like this is my web application so this response is coming from one of the instance in the managed instance group so how will you know this is giving response from the which server so what i will do i will just make small changes in one of the server so i'll just go to one of the server and i'll try to make changes in file so it will print message differently from one server and print different message from the another server i'll go to compute engine here and i'll try to log in in one mig so from if you are checking on mig also so it is printing the same message this is my web application from both the server so i'll just uh, make changes in one of the server so instead of uh, printing this is my web application I will print this is my web application from server 1 and we'll see from which server it gives the response so here I'll just make this is my web application I'll just append server 1 and I'll enter okay and let me try to see now yeah now this is printing this is my web application server one now another will assume as a server two now let me refresh the load balancer okay this is now response from server one let me reload again let me reload again let me reload again now this is response from server two so as we kept a re request per second as a two if i keep reloading it will give response from server 1 server 2 server 1 server 2 so it will make a balance between a two of the system and it won't overload only one server using the load balancer so that is a main functionality of the load balancer and now suppose if one of the server is down or in a so let me do one thing so what i will do i'll just restart or replace a one vm okay so restart one instance okay and i will restart it okay so i will keep reloading the load balancer so it is giving response till it is giving the response so we will see from which server it is giving the response so one server is restarting still there is no downtime in your load balancer your load balancer is still serving the traffic okay now this 48 is restarting let me see if we are getting response here so we are still getting response here but there is no glitch when you are using the load balancer in your application so that is the main purpose of your load balancer even if one of your instance go down it will serve from another now you could see there is no response coming from server one because your server one is currently down and it is in restarting mode so all the response is coming from only server two so only server two you are getting and once server one is restarted you will get response from server one as well 
so your application won't face any downtime if you are using the load balancer and it will try to serve from the nearest location so this is not only for gcp nowadays all your youtube your google your facebook netflix everyone is using the load balancer if you want to see the real example of that let me show you what i will do i will open my powershell okay and i'll just try to ping a google ping google.com okay so it is giving response from me this google server that is 183.36 and this is from my india location now i will try to ping google again from the us central one server so this is my server we created using managed interest group which is in us central one so if i if use a ping from this this will route me to the uh, nearest server or another server which should be in us so let me do google.com okay so here you could see it's giving response from this ip 201102 even if you are trying to access the same url google.com so let me do trace route 103 so trace route not found so let me install trace route so we can install sudo apt get install trace route so it will install within a minute and now we'll check trace route not this i want to check trace route for google how it is reaching out to google okay and same i will do on my windows machine which is in india so we are accessing the same website so here you could see it is giving response somewhere from this server 173.194.198.105 which will be nearest to my us location and the server host name you can see something iz-inf105 and if we are using from the india location it will try to give response from somewhere near about bombay or delhi server which will be in india so we'll see that what will be the response here okay and here you could see we are receiving the response from bombay server because the load balancer which is somewhere back end of the uh, google.com is trying to route our traffic to the nearest server that is in uh, bombay so in this way load balancer will work and if we go again back to this and try to uh, reload it should now give response from server one also because it is in a recovered now would be in a recovery state again so now if we see the type of load balancer there will be different type of load balancer external load balancer means if you want to access from the internet and traffic is going to our vpc which will be our external load balancer so which is currently we created is external load balancer that is https internal will be something we are using only to access within the gcp services so if i go back to this diagram here you could see this is the internal load balancer because it is trying to communicate from your gcp compute engine to the another gcp compute engine or your a database servers so it is used only within a gcp services it's called as a internal load balancer then we have a global global means when your load balancer is trying to work in different regions so it is called a global regional means if it is only in a particular region so if i go back so here you could see this external load balancer is trying to route traffic from different region us central one us central b is one region and asia east one is another region so this is your global load balancer and this internal load balancer is your regional because it is working in a single region so that are different type of load balancer you can read theoretical part of it mostly on a google website or google documentation google cloud documentation they explained it very well what is the difference and type of the load balancer 
so that's it for the load balancer and load balancer with managed instance group if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section i will try to answer your query and thank you for watching this video